Hi guys and welcome back to another game review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Tech Wars Online. It is a turn-based mech strategy game. The name should sound familiar. That is because the game itself was on Steam earlier last year but got pulled due to fake reviews. Uh, uh, horrible fake reviews. Um, and honestly, I, I'm not going to fare well with this game much either. Um, I of course was given a review copy of this game, full disclosure. Um, that no, no money changed hands, I was not paid to do this review, I was asked to do this review by the game developer. And well, the game developer's name is Argus Games and they're self-published. Um, the release date came out on my birthday, 17th of March. Um, Reviews so far on the re-release are mixed, and well, we can't expect much for this game for several reasons, and I, I, I'm going to go over them in a bullet point thing. One, it's using the Unity engine. Now, there are pros and cons to using the Unity engine, and right now, the current con is the back-end network side. Two, the game's deluxe edition of, of, of this game right now, you can buy it on Steam for $4.99. And the third issue, and this is an issue that's going to be bugging a lot of people, is there is a lot of stuff that is locked down behind level caps, paywalls, etc. Um, as far as I know, as you can see, I, I don't think that there is any kind of loot crate system or premium currency which i'm actually surprised at um i really am but one of my problems that i have with this game currently is the sound effects i when i first started the game i'm gonna give you a brief overview of what it actually sounded like okay Yeah, it's that bad. Yeah, it's that bad. It's like all of a sudden everyone's deaf. The audio in this game was just horrid. And I had to manually set the graphics to best and to the full, my native resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. Uh, I don't have any 4K monitors. I've only got 2K monitor. Uh, uh, so there we go. And what do you expect? It is Unity. But for some reason, the audio was just deafening. And so, well, let's give this game a fair shakedown. Um, again, one of the things I... And that's another thing that's upsetting, is if you alt-tab for anything, the game just says, jog on. What I would like to do is do a brief comparison between another game that I like to play. Now, as you guys know, I do a lot of stuff with Bluestacks, which is an Android emulator. It, it, this is it, it in, in its entirety. This is an emulator for the Lollipop Android emulator. And this is one of the games I like to play called Marvel Future Fight. And this game is meant to be played on a phone. Okay, a phone, a tablet. You know, it's not meant to be played on a PC. But look at how gorgeous... Look at uh, how well the 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 characters that are, are rendered. Look, L look at the the, the physics of, of the capes, for example. And there's Spidey swinging up and down, you know, doing his thing. You know, there's Black Bolt. You know, there's a whole bunch of uh, here's Wolverine. Wait for it. And Snick. Do, do you see? Uh, and this is an Android emulator. Okay. Granted, it's probably got multiple, you know, areas, but this is a game engine designed to be run on a PC. Can you see the problem that we're having here? Granted, the Unity engine is amazing. It really is. I've, I've got to turn the effects down because hearing that guy just ramble on is just driving me nuts. Now... What I have to, to, to say is, if you can get an Android game, if you can get a, a, a mobile device game to look that good, 
put you can't on an actual PC engine on a PC. You got issues. Now let's let, let let's actually look at the actual gameplay, shall we? So we're gonna go straight to skirmish because that's all you can do. You can't do anything else. Literally, you 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 cannot do anything else. So we're gonna wait for the opponent. This is where the 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 land comes in because there's no AI. There there's no like Tarkov scabs. That's an actual actual player. Okay, so we're going to save that. Now I am going... Okay, so... And because my mech's not facing the right way, I can't target them with my weapon. So it's whoever gets the... Nope. So he's going to get to hit me first, no matter what I do. See? That's one of the things I've noticed. Is that no matter what you do... They always get to hit you first. Um, and there's no backspace. You can't undo that maneuver. You know? He's going to get to fire his missile at me again, hits me in my arm, and then he walks away. I, on the other hand, now have to turn around. Can't fire my missile at him because, you know, he's out of range. So he just got a free hit on me. And that currently seems to be the meta of this game, which is run away, 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 run away. And just shoot missiles. That's it. See? That seems to be the only meta for this game. There's... And you have to use the arrow keys. Even though the, the, the tooltip says for you to use... Um, even though the tooltip says to click and hold your center mouse button. That doesn't work. So if the tooltips are wrong, um, there's also egregious spelling mistakes uh, uh, um, everywhere else. I mean, I'm quite literally... Ha if, I'm, if I'm supposed to be this big bad mech, okay, why, why on God's green earth yeah, am I having to quite literally get up his nose? See, now he's going to get to... to Okay, so I can't shoot at him. All I can do is move and hopefully turn. Nope, saying I still can't. I still. Oh, wait, wait, I can with that. Okay. And he then in return does that, really? Okay. I, I, I can't face him. Are you kidding me? Okay. So there's that. Okay. Anti-missile charges. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, anti-missile charges. Not that it explains what they do, but I assume they destroy missiles. See, I can't do create a skirmish because I need to be level 3. So I have to be level 3 to play more of your own game. That makes no sense. For, in order for me to create a room to play with my friends, I have to be level 3. It, 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 that literally makes my brain hurt. And... Apparently, you know, you can't buy mechs yet or anything because you need like a thousand credits and no, no one has that yet as far as I can tell. But I I, ha I I can't even tell you if there's a any other mech other than this one and the red one. Because I can't see them. I can't even look at them. Um, there are other games out there, like similar to this, that will let you at least l window shop 
the other mechs, if that makes sense. Um, I've been playing this game now for about half hour to an hour. And frankly, I feel like it's been half hour to an hour that I've actually wasted. Um, I, I could have had fun rubbing one out in the bathroom. You know? Um, I hate to say it, but it's true. No disrespect to the game designer. You had a great idea for a game, and, and you just executed it poorly. Um, honestly, I would talk to your little dev squad or whoever that you have, and I would say to them, look, guys, we need to listen to this constructive criticism because, frankly, seriously, I can't even window shop to see what other mechs there are on the market. All I see is Bumblebee on steroids and that red bloody mech that dies in three hits. I, I I can't review a game if even on the review copies that you've been handing out is severely locked down. Guess what? You're going to get really horrible reviews. Now, this game runs at about 90 frames per second on my rig. And my rig's not, not anywhere near current gen. My rig is like circa 2006. I'm running a first gen i7. 24 gigs of RAM because that's what the processor can, that's what literally the chipset, the X58 chipset can handle on a GTX 1060 6 gigabyte card. And I've got everything maxed out to, to, to all hell, you know. And honestly, I'm surprised that this di hasn't come out as a mobile game only. Um, other than that, guys, I. I Put it like this. this, this this review for this game is probably going to come off so bad that I feel that I need to apologize to anyone who views this video. Okay, seriously. Um, the game is just terrible. For five bucks, honestly, I'd go to Subway. You know, I, I, I would go, hell, I, I would offer five bucks to a toothless granny to give me a blowjob. You know, seriously. At least I would get something out of it, and so would she. She'd get a meal, and I'd get satisfied. You know? This game, if it was trying to achieve something, poorly hit the mark. And most importantly, and I hate to say this, but I have no idea what demographic the game developer is aiming for. If you're aiming for the RTS crowd, you failed. If you're aiming for the Mech Warrior... Uh, 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 um, you know, Battletech fan, fan group, you failed. If you're aiming for, for the Command and Conquer fans, you failed. It, it, you, whatever demographic, demographic you are aiming for, I'm sorry, but you failed. You failed to hit the mark on anything. And frankly, I... I I want my I want my three hundred and something megabyte hard drive space back for at least porn images, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, but th this this game is just horrible. <sighs> anyway, guys, if you have any horrible games that you want me to take a look at, please leave them in the comment section of the video down below. If you want to suffer, either yourself or buy this and gift it to a friend as a joke. The Steam Store link will be in the video description down below. And again, game developer, Ar Ar Argos Interactive, or whatever the heck your name is. I mean, seriously, even your game developer name is generic. Uh, uh, yeah, Ar 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 Argos Games, Argos Games, whatever. Dave Games, there you go. Honestly, I, I hate to say this, but... You seriously, and I do mean this, you seriously need to take a look at some of the things I'm talking about and at least just add in a window shopping mode where you can show other players that this is what you could potentially grind out and unlock. Every other free-to-play game does it. World of Tanks does it. War Thunder does it. Fuck. Uh, seriously, there are so many games out there that does it. And I'm sorry that I just dropped that F-bomb. But seriously, guys... Take care. I'll see you in the next video.